Welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. So today we're working on the, uh, we're going to, this is part two of the Wobble Spider. Um, we're going to do some, uh, some more edge work on the, uh, the flame cut part. Uh, there's a little machining to do uh, to make the two sides parallel. And then um, uh, I've been looking at the hub uh, with different eyes now and we're going to take a look at that too. So um, let's, uh, let's put an apron on. Let's go take a look at this thing and uh, we're going to do a little bit of uh, uh, what I would call uh, design aesthetics. Uh, we'll take a look at it from that perspective. And uh, so anyway, let's go take a look at it. Okay, so <clears throat> we got the wobble uh, partially assembled here. Um, I went back and I faced a few thousands off of this to make um, this mounting surface here for this parallel with the face that mounts against that. Um, in retrospect, uh, Colin Chippett mentioned, he says, well, why don't you just face the whole side, right? Well, I probably should have done that, but I really didn't want to lose a bunch of thickness to this. In, in retrospect, I probably should have got this instead of 5 eighths thick, I should have got a three-quarter thick, and then I would have just faced both sides and, and not have to deal with that. Um, so, but anyway, I only had to take about five or six thousandths off of this side. To, uh, it was running out more at the rim than it is in the center because of heat distortion when this thing was cut. So I just had to take a few thousandths off of this to make that parallel. So now what's next is... Uh, let me get that in there. Okay, what's next is this actually gets welded to that. Um, but I started looking at it, and I don't know, it's proportionally something looks a little funny here to me. Um, and this hub looks kind of heavy to me, you know, in comparison to the rest of this, right? It's, it's thick, and it needs to be thick because of the forces with that hub. Um, you know, and kind of has to be that diameter, kind of has to be that length, right? So there's not much I can do about that. But it just looks kind of, bleh, you know, like a big, I don't know, big chug there, you know. I'm um, not sure what the right word to describe it. This looks heavy to me. So I want to I want to lighten the look of that, you know, because this is light and airy looking, right, and kind of wispy. Well, not wispy. You know, not wimpy wispy, but you know, you can see a lot of the, the mechanism and uh, this just looks a little heavy to me. So what I think I'm going to do, and I've done this in the past, is, of course, you know, when you want to yank that right out, okay, there we go. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to relieve this center section. I'll, I'll leave a rim on, on either side here, but I'll just dig in and so the profile will look something like that. Okay, so I'll relieve some out of the center, and that will, so this won't be a continuous surface along here, it'll have a dip in it, um, um, and it doesn't have to be much, and I think it's just going to lighten the look of this, okay? So, we're going to go over to the lathe, get this thing spinning right, and then um, we'll uh, take some out of there with just a 45 degree chamfer tool, I think I'll just go in there and just take some out and uh, see how that looks. And hopefully it'll uh, it'll kind of lighten the look of it by breaking up that line. So let's go over to the lathe. Okay, so here we are. Got a 45 degree chamfer tool in there, and I've marked off a couple of lines uh, equal distance from the edges there. And this is this is more of a uh, kind of an eyeball. Um, oh, let's see, what do I want to do here? Um, I suppose I could use a DRO. Um, let's just see what this looks like here. We'll go from line to line here. And let's see, do I have enough room? Yeah, I can come up. I can go a little farther that way. So let's uh, give ourselves a little starting line there. And then back up to this one. Something like that. I guess a smart guy would have looked at the DRO, right? Uh, let's just set that. And make sure my feed's going the right way, yes. And then uh, 
far as depth. All right, there's a good uh, zero in the depth. All right, let's dig in a little bit. Let's start with 40,000s there. Now those are some poured little chips there. This is just really a, kind of an aesthetic uh, thing here, so we're not gonna. Um, uh, one zero two five. Okay. See, and you can see how that's already changed the look of that. Um, let's get rid of this pile of crap there. Uh, but I think I want to dig in a little bit further there, so uh, let's go back to our starting spot. And I, I glanced at a number uh, on the DRO, so I have some, kind of a finished number now. All right, so that was 40 going in. Let's uh, go 75. Actually, let me, uh, this would benefit from a, a little bit of oil there. Chips right there, guys. Yeah, you don't want to get close to that shit. All right, so that's looking better already to me. So uh, yeah, I still think I want I want deeper. Deeper than that. Um, try a slower feed rate. See if that makes a difference with the chips. That's a little better with the chips. some of this oil out of here. Oh yeah, this is looking better. So a little bit of extra depth looks like it makes a makes a difference there. certainly looking better to me so uh, I'm gonna dig it out a little bit more and then uh, we'll see what it looks like on the hub okay so we took some off of this let's see what you guys think now I'm, uh, yeah, in there. <laughs> of course get a cock. There we go. Alright, doesn't that look better? I think it does. So it's just taking a little bit of material out of that out of that center kind of lightens the look of that thing and breaks up that surface. Um, so I removed a quarter inch on the diameter. Um, you know that's so it's an eighth of an inch per side, you know, a little over three millimeters. Um, anyway, I think that improves that. So uh, all right, so I think we're gonna we're gonna do a little welding in here and on the other side, and then that's uh, kind of a done deal. This part will get painted. Um, this is gonna get nickel plated here, uh, not painted, um, 
and this bore here will be masked uh, for that uh, expansion hub that I showed you. So <clears throat> what I'm doing here, these guys here, what I'm using these for is just so that I, when I sand this radius on here, I don't intrude into this area that, um, uh, that the screw is going to sit. What I want is I want a nice kind of a feathering uh, in that area. I don't want a radius off. Um, the portion that the screw sits on. So I got these little washers under here that are just a little bit bigger than the heads of those, so uh, I think that'll be fine. Um, so I'm gonna, well, I'm just gonna, let's just do it. Put some ear stuff on and I'll do a little bit. So that's kind of the roughing there, and then uh, I'll do a little bit of a uh, little bit of hand work to uh, to make it nice and even, since it's hard to work up close to those screws. But you can see I can bump into those washers, and I don't, uh, it, you know, it limits the travel of the grinder. So that's the general idea. Kind of a a shield, I suppose, is the right way to think about it. All right. Anyway, yeah, I got five more, well, five sections to do, so I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> All right. So it's a pretty, you know, I would call that a kind of a subtle difference there. Um, I didn't want a big radius. Now, you know, once this is painted, and uh, we're going to use these stainless. Uh, these stainless button heads in here. Those will those will pop because of the contrast, like so. Let's run one down so you can see. But you can see here, there's a little land around the uh, around the screw there, uh, where the radius comp or comes up and stops, and then sits there. And then our little detail work. Let's see if I can get this in here without having to hammer it in. There it goes. Um, and then our relieving of that. So I think we've improved that. Uh, at least I like it better. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I think uh, we certainly didn't disimprove it. <laughs> um, okay. So I think uh, finally ready for a little bit of welding in there. And uh, then that completes that, uh, that spider assembly. And then we drill and tap a pattern in this gear here. Um, for the um, the anti-rotation arm. So um, anyway, let's uh, do a little welding.
There it is. That thing's actually ready for paint. Thanks for watching.